What jumps out looking at that box score? Um, I'd say our uh, assist to turnover ratio is really good. And that's always a great indicator of just a good night at the office. You basically played the same minutes tonight that you had been coming off the bench. Is it different, though, starting? Not really. I just try to keep the same approach, uh, have fun, communicate, get great looks. And uh, just, yeah, those, those three things. I, I think you have like 50-something made threes this month on, mm. on, on 40. This guy's trying to jinx me. Some percent. Um, how, I, I know even in the, the rougher times this season, you've felt good shots and, and your shot was there. But, like, how good a rhythm do you currently feel in? Uh, I feel really good. I would like to repeat this performance in Orlando tomorrow night because these games are – so crucial, obviously, and I think it's just about enjoying this, obviously. But once we get on that plane and we leave Miami, we got to turn the page because uh, the NBA does not wait for you. So we got to we got to focus, man. They're, Orlando's playing really good, too. So we got a big task tomorrow. You held the heat to 40 percent shooting overall, and I believe 37 points combined in the second half. What was the key to that? Was it more? It was a, be a better effort from you guys. Was it them cooling down? I think uh, we played well as far as not letting them get downhill and in the paint repeatedly. I mean, Bam is a really good player. It helps when they're not when they're missing, you know, their elite scores and Jimmy and Hero. So that obviously. Or that obviously was a big reason why, but other than that, um, get Draymond great credit too. I mean, he made it hard on Bam. Bam made some really tough jumpers on him, but uh, Draymond's such a great post defender. He uh, he's hard to go against for you know 35 to 40 minutes a night. Obviously, you you mentioned how you feel good in terms of your play, but what pride do you have in terms of just just the second half of your play yourself individually? I mean, I've been prideful ever since I laced up basketball sneakers. Uh, you know, a lot of my, um, you don't want to say identity, but of who I am is reflected how I play on the basketball court. And my father was a hooper. My older brother is a hooper, and I am as well. So I take great pride in just trying to be my best nightly. It's a really hard thing to do, but it's uh, what the greats aspire to do on a nightly basis. And um, I'm just a prideful player at the end of the day. Clay, I wanted to ask you about Kuminga. Is there something specific that you've seen evolve? Or is this just time and reps yeah. and work? Just hmm. I think his. Uh, I think his rhythm to the game has gotten so much better. He knows when to take a jump shot. He knows when to attack. He plays above the rim. He's a two-way player, and he's oozing with potential. And then you forget he's only 21 years old. Um, so you get excited for his future. I mean, I've been very impressed with the work ethic he's displayed the past couple years. And I know he's going to be a future star in this league. Uh, had you met Neymar before? Yeah, we met uh, we met all the way back in 2016. So I've known Neymar for a while and big fan of basketball. And we're all a big fan of football. So we just uh, respect his greatness. Clay, the Heat have been a team known to give up, you know, some of the most threes in the league for years now. And with going oh, into tonight, do you know, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know that going in, was that part of the, the strategy as far as you – you know, having such a big game tonight, just knowing that that was going to be available for you? Uh, we do know that they help. They're a very great help defending team, and they cover up their mistakes well. For us, it's a, we thrive off making threes, obviously, Steph and I. So you see a couple go in. It always helps early. And uh, it was an emphasis to draw two and kick to start the game, and I thought we did that well throughout the whole 48 minutes. You mentioned, the, you know, kind of the importance of the Orlando game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How late is it starting to feel, and and how challenging is it starting to feel with what's you know ahead of you guys, standings wise, lack of time left. Challenging, um, but you can't be 
intimidated by what's ahead. You just got to take it one game at a time. And most importantly, have fun and play your hardest, and you can live with the results. And uh, But like I said before, you can't look ahead. You just got to do what you got to do if that's in front of you, and it happens to be the magic tomorrow. Now that the team is almost fully healthy, how is the team uh, confidence that you guys can make a big push heading into the play? Very confident. It's been conf. I mean, we're very confident we can make a run, but uh, we're not even thinking about the postseason. We still have whatever 11, 12 games left, and we want to finish as strong as possible. Whether it's nine wins, ten wins, eleven, we know it's doable. So it's about just uh, simplifying things and just looking ahead to the game tomorrow. Steve praised uh, Andrew Wiggins' defense on Rozier, especially in the second half. Um, it seems like he's been a little bit more aggressive offensively recently. How different is this team when, when he is kind of hunting his shot and, and getting going on both ends? That's why we won the championship a couple years ago is because of Andrew's two-way play. We obviously need him to be that, to go where we want to go. And he's so vital to what we do. Without him, we cannot reach our full potential. So. We all love Wiggs, and we know what he's capable of. And like you said, his defense is, when he's playing tenacious defense, it's, uh, it's going to fuel his ability to get to the rim, and just his confidence will improve as well. Nice. Cool. Thank you, Stephanie.